uh, video, I'm going to make a short segment on how to actually take the screenshots if you didn't know. When you're playing in SAMP, the way you take screenshots is you press F8. Now, when you're doing a certain style of uh, screenshot editing, I do, you're going to need two types of screenshots. One with the text and RP. As you can see, I uh, already typed out, uh, I took the Glock 18 from the bed. So what you want to do after that is you're going to want to take another screenshot pressing F10 and F8. What this does is creates a clean background where uh, it aligns perfectly and you have one with text and one without. I'll get into greater detail on why this is important later in the guide. But uh, make sure that your screenshots you know, align, otherwise it can mess it up. So press F8 with the blank background and then F8 again to quickly get the uh, slash me's and whatnot. Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make screenshots for your LSRP faction, your character, whatever it may be. Just how to take screenshots to make them look, you know, good and proper. Um, the first thing you're really going to need is a photo editor of some sort. Whether it be Photoshop, Paint.net, GIMP, it doesn't really matter. As long as it has a layering system within the program, it'll work. So, uh, I guess we'll get started. I'm going to be using Photoshop for this guide it's a pretty nifty program although any of them will work you might have to fiddle around with the controls a little bit seeing the different programs but it's all the same really so when I take screenshots I always have two types I have one that have blank backgrounds that show uh, the game without the text and then one with the text with your slash me's and whatever so the first thing you want to do is you're going to take your rectangle tool you're going to want to drag and take the whole entire screenshot and you want to press control C which copies it and so uh, the other way you can do this is go to edit and then copy although you know using the command keys makes things faster so once you've copied this screenshot you can close this because you'll no longer need it you'll go to your blank screenshot and then press control V which will paste your old screenshot over it now once you've done this you're going to want to crop out whatever you uh, want. You want to crop out whatever you don't want. And we obviously want the text. I want my character in the screenshot as well. So we're going to go over that. I'm going to crop it. And there you go. I'm going to zoom in. As you can see, there's a uh, text above that can still be seen. We're going to start removing all the stuff with, uh, that's uh, unwanted. So you don't want screenshot taken, your PMs, or advertisements in your screenshots. It makes it look sloppy and unprofessional. So what you do is you take your selector tool, or your rectangle tool, and you're going to want to select over everything you don't want. And once you've done that, you're going to press delete on your keyboard. Now make sure that you're uh, on your first layer when you do this, not the background. So what happens is, your, uh, all the unwanted text disappears. Here, I'll do it again. You just select it, and then press delete. As you can see, all that's left is the slash means. Uh, nothing is uh, protruding or making the screenshot look of ill quality. And basically, you've got your uh, screenshot ready. What you always want to do is make sure that it's under the boundaries of 715. This is the width of the LSRP form pages. Uh, your length doesn't really matter, although you want to keep it in check and not have too large of screenshots, otherwise, you know, people will be scrolling down forever. I usually keep a good balance. That's usually how you make, you know, decent sized screenshots. Now, once you've done that, I'm going to make a, I'm going to quickly bring up another two screenshots because there is a second portion on how I make screenshots. So I'm going to make I'm going to display how to do it again. What you want to do is you want to select it all, control C to copy, and then you can remove it. And then you're going to want to paste it over the blank background screenshot. Crop what you want. We'll get uh we'll get a little bigger. Crop that. And then we can delete. What you do is you just rectangle to it all. And then press delete. Now as you can see the screenshot is a little out of focus. That's because I didn't align it. Or not out of focus but it's a little out of line. It's because I didn't uh, 
align my screenshots properly and this is the issue you can run into if you don't although there are ways to fix it for instance you just delete the complete background and uh, it'll fix for the most part although as you can see it still looks weird you can just fiddle around until you fix it completely um, for the sake of time in the video I'm not going to go overboard and try to fix it completely but you get the idea what you're going to want to do at this point is you have both of your screenshots edited um, you want them around 7, 15 in diameter or in width I mean so now you have both of your screenshots and you're going to go ahead and save as I'll save them to desktop as one make sure to save it as a PNG or a JPEG I'll do the same with the other one once it's done There we go. I do the same right here for the desktop. PNG will make it two. Now we have both of our screenshots saved. Now, so when it comes to making screenshots with me, there's one last process that you have to do. Uh, it involves a program called Paint. Almost every single computer has it. Um, if you're using Windows, if you don't, you can always find it online pretty easily but uh what you're gonna first wanna do is go to Photoshop again and merge visible you're gonna wanna do this to both of them else it won't work you're gonna then select it and copy just as before except this time you open a paint document and you bring it here as you can see I have already copied and pasted one screenshot onto here I want to do it with the other one. I'll go ahead, copy, and then I'll paste it. And you just align it how you want. I'll have it a little bit up there. Um, as you can see, our uh, width is 832. It can't be this large. So what we're going to do is we're going to crop it down to... 715 perfect that's the uh, maximum width you can get you can always go lower sometimes mine turn out to be 714 713 I'm just too lazy to edit it so it fully fits but uh, anything will really do as long as below 715 so once you've done this you just go ahead and save as I'll save it as SSG for screenshot guide and it'll be saved onto your desktop. Um, and also, if you don't want to do it that way, you can always just leave them separate like these two. All you'd have to do is have multiple uh, pictures instead of one just fluid, solid one. Uh, either way works. Um, I'll show you how to... So, uh, how I upload my screenshots is I use one of two uploaders. It's either Imager or Minus. Uh, I use minus if I'm using or if I'm uploading the screenshots all in uh, one solid single screenshot. It usually comes out a better quality when I use minus. So we're gonna grab this one, start upload. I'm gonna use my uh, own thread real quick to uh, display how to do this. So once you upload, you're gonna have the small resolution numbers up here. I'm gonna click it. And it'll uh, bring up a tab with just your screenshots. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that, paste it. What you do is you just surround it with the image code and then go ahead and preview. As you can see, the screenshots are all together and then you could just post. I'll do one more showing you how to do it in Imager if you use separate photos. You just go grab these two start upload and then you want to go ahead and get gener or uh, generate multiple links make sure it's in BB code copy paste preview as you can see there's a small uh, section where they're split up it just matters how you like to post your screenshots doesn't really matter it's all the same um, the last thing I really need to just explain 
is if you're not going to use the paint method and you're just going to upload the screenshot single uh, in single file, you need to make sure you resize the uh, image so it is below or 715, 715 or below. So I'm going to go ahead and crop it because when you crop it and you make it uh, so the image isn't stretched as much, you lose you don't lose as much uh, quality in the text. It doesn't blur as much. What you're going to have to do is go to image and then just resize it to 715. As you can see, it'll fit and you just have to save it as I showed before. I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me or uh, comment on the YouTube section. Um, like and subscribe. I'm sorry for the poor mic quality. And uh, if you are wanting any other types of guides or videos, just tell me and I'll be uh, more than happy to help you.